Hey guys, I want to first of all apologize for the lack of videos recently. I've been sick, my voice was all kinds of messed up, and I'm just now starting to get over it, so that's why I haven't been making videos recently. But today, I decided to go ahead and make a video on something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and that is how I put in my hair extensions, and as well as how I style them, so let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so first of all, here are my hair extensions. And these are just the clip-in ones. I just got these hair extensions at a local beauty store, and I sewed the clips on myself. They're called wig clips. I believe I paid about 50 or $60 for these hair extensions. They came on a weft, but the clips were not included, so I had to purchase the clips separately and sew them on myself. I believe I got an 18 inch pack, and it got me about 8 pieces to go throughout my hair. But recently I've only been using 2 of these pieces on my head. And that is because my hair has grown out and I don't really need the full set right now. So all I can say for you is the quality is probably most likely going to depend on how much money you spend on the extensions. I would recommend checking out local beauty supply stores or looking online at reviews and things like that. Um, whenever I get more hair extensions, I'll probably do reviews on those too. But for now, these are ones that I've had for a while. Um, I don't wear them all the time, but when I do wear them, this is how I do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I put my hair extensions in. So first thing I do is I separate my hair, and I usually start about the middle of my ear and section that off. And then I'll just clip up my hair, and then pull this forward. So this is my length of my real hair. And what I do after I've sectioned it off, I will take this Got To Be Powderful. It is a volumizing styling powder, and I feel like it works a lot better for me personally. Better than hairspray, so I like to take a little bit of this and sprinkle it onto the areas where I know the clips are going to be. And I just back comb that a little bit. extensions have three clips, um, two on the ends and one in the middle, so that's generally the areas that I will prep, I guess you could say, for the extensions. I'll just do two outsides and then one in the middle. that easy that's just how I apply my extension so I'll go ahead and do the second piece so now I've got my hair sectioned off a little bit higher and this is even with the tops of my ear and I'm just going to repeat the steps that I did to apply the first extension piece my two different extension pieces clipped in and as you can see my hair looks a lot thicker and longer at the bottom and it still looks natural um, when I purchased extensions they're all one length and they don't have the clips or anything on them so what I do is I'll sew on the clips myself and then these extras to show you guys um, this piece has four clips on it and it's a lot wider than the ones that I have on right now. And that's because this piece is meant to go up higher on the wider parts of the head. 
So when you get extensions, if you're measuring them up yourself, you want to measure them against your head before you cut them. Once you've got the width that measures with your head, you will just cut the extensions. And I like to double up mine, so I have two different widths sewn together and clipped together. I cut the extensions to measure up against my head. And then I will sew on the amount of clips that I think it will need to hold it securely onto my hair. And then once I've done that, I will have all the extensions clipped into my head at once so all the hair will be one length. And I have layers in my real hair so after I've clipped in the extensions, I will cut the extensions to match up with my hair. I know that's a lot to explain right now, but when I get new extensions, I'll go over the full process with you guys. But okay, anyway, now for styling. What I'll do with my extensions to get them to blend perfectly is I will take a curling wand. And this is a Remington curling wand. You can get these for about $20, $30 at Walmart and Target. I prefer these wands over the curling irons with the actual, you know, clamp thing, like... And if that's all you have is one with the clamp, you can just unscrew it and take it off. I've done that before. Or you can just avoid it altogether and just leave it closed. But I prefer the wands. Now my hair already does have heat protectant on it, so this is on 400 degrees, which I know is pretty hot, but I'm not going to leave it on my hair that long. So you just wrap your hair around the curling wand and I'll hold it for about 10 seconds. And I'm going to alternate the direction that I curl my hair. So this one was going away from my face. So the next one that I do is going to go towards my face. And the reason that I alternate the direction is because if you don't alternate, you're more than likely just going to get one giant curl on the side of your head. But when they're going different directions, they can't really push themselves together and form one giant curl. So this is why I like to curl in different directions. sections that are closer to my face, I always do these sections away from the face because when you go towards your face it can look kind of weird and then the next section next to that can be towards your face because it's not framing your face. I will use my fingers to comb out the curls or you can use one of these combs which mine has hair in it or you can use one of these combs this is a Conair comb and it is meant to brush out curls to make them softer and easier As you can see, now that I've curled my hair and brushed out the curls a bit, my hair is fuller, it's got more volume, and I like it a lot better than just being straight. So after that, you can just go ahead and finish it off with some hairspray. And you're 
you're good to go. So that is basically how I put in and style my hair extensions. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I know that when I was in high school, I used to get all sorts of questions about my hair extensions. But when I do get more, I will make sure to fill you guys in on exactly how I do the whole process. But thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.